hey guys so today we're making some shrimp alfredo please make sure you like share comment and subscribe let's get started with the recipe so i'm gonna start by seasoning my shrimp and so this is about a pound or so of shrimp and i am just drizzling some avocado oil on there so that my seasonings can stick to it and so i am using some adobo seasoning but you can use whatever seasonings you want okay i don't care what seasonings you use just make sure your food is not bland because we don't want no bland food y'all and so next i'm going to add in some old bay and then i'm adding in some garlic powder on onion powder um some black pepper and so um you want to make sure that you season every layer of your food I'm also going to add in some smoked paprika and this is going to add a nice smoky flavor to it and it's going to help with the color because I didn't have enough Old Bay. <laughs> um, but after I put all of my seasonings on my shrimp, I am just going to mix it all together and then we're going to saute these on the stove. So I'm just going to heat my skillet and um, put some avocado oil down and then I'm going to put a few shrimp in at a time. You don't want to overcrowd your skillet um, because then the shrimp will start to steam instead of getting a nice color on the sides. And so I let this cook for maybe two or three minutes on each side. Um, I wasn't really trying to cook it all the way through because I'm going to add it to the sauce later. And so it's going to continue to cook. And so I didn't want my shrimp to be rubber, <laughs> rubbery um, at the end of this. And so I just made sure that I got a nice little color on there. And then I took it out and then I put in my next batch. And you want to do as many batches as you need to. Because again, you don't want to overcrowd your pan. And so I'm just adding in some more oil. And then I'm going to place uh, some more shrimp down. And so I did not mention that this recipe will be a dairy free recipe um, because, you know, uh, Stephanie has a dairy allergy. So I am going to make this dairy free. So I'm using some dairy free butter. And um, at this point, I'm going to make the sauce. So I'm using some dairy free heavy cream. And this was really good, y'all. This is a nice alternative or if you have dietary restrictions or any allergies, this is a nice allergy friendly meal and so I'm just going to add in some garlic and if you have fresh garlic I suggest fresh garlic but I'm you know trying to make this simple and easy because it is a weeknight and so I'm just going to um, cook my garlic for a few seconds because I don't want to burn it and then I am adding in about three cups of this dairy free heavy cream and I just found this at my local grocery store which is nice. And so Stephanie hasn't really had Alfredo outside of like the Dea box Alfredo that they have in, in the stores. And so we just recently introduced shrimp to her and uh, Sydney because they both have uh, shellfish allergies. And so um, we found out that they both can have shrimp. And so we got to try new recipes over here for these kids. Okay. So they ain't really had no shrimp. And so we going to do some shrimp recipes and so i am just seasoning the sauce with the same seasonings i um put on the shrimp and i will say that the dairy free heavy cream or like it, dairy free milk and things like that it tends to be um sweeter than the dairy uh products and so make sure you season your food aggressively okay um because listen i don't want no sweet alfredo <laughs> but i'm just gonna stir this up and let it thicken um a little bit and next i'm gonna add in some nutritional yeast and so this is gonna add a nice cheesy flavor to our alfredo um, i'm not using any dairy-free cheese for this recipe but if you do have dairy-free cheese you can put some um, dairy-free Parmesan or mozzarella or whatever you have. Um, but I'll be honest and say that I am not a huge fan of dairy-free cheese. Okay, I just don't like the smell of it. And so since I am going to eat some of this recipe, I'm not putting no dairy-free cheese in there. <laughs> but if you would like, you can put that in there and it will help to thicken up your sauce. And so I did end up uh, doing a cornstarch slurry just to thicken this up because for whatever reason, it just wasn't thickening up like, um, you know, dairy whipped cream would. 
or heavy cream would so um again season your food and you're gonna let this simmer until it starts to thicken and then we're gonna add in some shrimp and some broccoli and so i will say that you know having kids with allergies it does help you to start creating different recipes or finding ways to enjoy some of the same things and so this is where I'm adding in that cornstarch slurry just to thicken it up. But, you know, I want my kids to enjoy the same kinds of food that, that I like. And so we get excited when when we see things that we can kind of create that we all can eat and enjoy. Or, you know, just try new things like they haven't really had shrimp. And so they were really excited to be able to have shrimp and try different meals that include shrimp because you know it's like okay we tied a chicken <laughs> and so let's get some shrimp and so hopefully um we can you know look at some other things to create and if you have any ideas for recipes that are dairy free or um just allergy friendly and obviously if you have a shellfish allergy uh, you can omit the shrimp um but this is a really quick and easy way um to i don't even know where i was going with that <laughs> but whatever i added the shrimp and the broccoli um it's a good way to get some some vegetables in this meal i will say that and so um i added the shrimp and broccoli and then we're just gonna let this hang out for a little bit i'm cooking some penne pasta um for this recipe but if you want to use fettuccine or linguine or whatever pasta you want you can do that um, but I just cooked it according to the package instructions. And then now I am adding in this delicious sauce. And we're going to stir it all together. And then we're going to plate it up. And that's it, y'all. This really didn't take that much time. And so I'm just going to put it in a bowl. If you got some garlic bread that's allergy friendly, you can add that on the side. Um, whatever you want. But I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you are interested in more um, allergy friendly meals or um, dairy free meals, whatever. I'm open to suggestions, um, but I truly appreciate you guys supporting my channel. And here I go again, adding more seasoning because um, it just needed a little something extra. So I added a little bit of slapping my Caucasian seasoning. Not too much because the kids don't like spicy food. And so, but anyway. I'm just going to plate this up and enjoy. But if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.